So when Jesus uh, shed his blood, mm. yeah, for us on the cross, yeah, uh, we believe us. Mm. Like we were, because I, I mean, we were, we were gone off. Mm. Yeah, we were meant for damnation. Yeah, because we had sinned. Like mm. we are far from like, but because of his love, because of his grace, he sends his son and then he dies for us and then he redeems us and reconciles us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when you accept Christ, mm, mm. Uh, uh, as your Lord and Savior, mm. Mm, so the word says that now, this is your, now your new identity. Mm. Now we are tackling like at the, like the root of this thing. Yeah. Okay. So so it says in Second Corinthians five seventeen, mm. Second Corinthians five seventeen, mm. and a new creation in Christ. Mm. Yeah. Behold, the old is gone, the and the come. new has come. Mm. Yeah. So so when you when you are in Jesus. When you accept when you accept him as your lord and savior mm. that's the beginning point okay so all the past yeah uh, so all the past oh you have done what mm. Manya seen i've done all these things like you even count them like you put them on the scale when i for me I, I look at my scale it's just it's just like you know flipping mm. yeah mm. yeah on the leeward side like just <laughs> flipping just flipping yeah mm. all those things when you're in christ mm. the old has gone now oh. the new has come oh. so you become a new creation okay yeah mm. so that's that's the that's the number one point mm. now we are tackling the root of this okay. issue yeah so um number one would be me accepting christ yeah. yes and christ. giving me evidence of what happens when i do accept christ yes okay so when you accept christ you, 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 yes your old self is gone now mm. you become a new creation mm. yeah so number two yeah <laughs> Um, so, because w- w- when you accept Christ, Bible mm. says that you are now children of God, mm. heirs of Join God, yes, mm. and fellow heirs with Christ, okay. sharing His inheritance. Yeah, mm. I have God's nature and His love in us. That's uh, Romans eight seventeen, mm. and also First John four six uh, mm. to eight. Okay, yeah. Mm. So now that's your new identity. You are now <laughs> a child of God. Mm. Yeah. You have yeah. an inheritance. Yeah, you've taken. You are part of the inheritance. Inheri- of yes, mm. you see a presence child, mm. and you. There's a very big difference. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Yes, most definitely. And mm. there are privileges that a presence child is going to experience. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Than you a person like just normal person. person. Yes. Mm. There are places that is going to access that you cannot access. True. Yeah. So. When, when we accept Christ, we become children of God mm-hmm. and heirs of his inheritance. You are adopted into yes, the family. into the family. Yeah. So that means everything, all the privileges, mm. all the riches, yeah, everything that is in God mm. is now yours because you're now a son. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. You are part of the will. Yes. Mm. So so you when, when you're a child of God, mm. I mean, when, when you're a child of the president, mm. yeah, your identity is already shaped. Yes. Back. Yeah, they will know. Eh, <laughs> yeah, they will know that. Hey, man, mm. this is his father, first what, son. Eh, the first son. The first eh, please, you, eh, you mm. just come here. Mm. You, like this access, mm. yeah. They, they, are, they, are, they are things that you're going to get into because of that, like yeah. identity yes. that, that 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 your father had. Yeah, mm. if you're minister's son, yeah. Um, like in school setting, mm. you who is a normal person. You're going to get shoe box. If if a person How like can you yes, be the yes son? if a person's father like you is a minister or a mother is a minister or like obviously you're going to tread slowly on that yeah, person. Yeah, true. Yes. Mm, you're yeah. Very careful. Yeah, very, very careful because of your identity of who who you are and mm. whose you are. Okay. Yeah. So in God, mm. we are children. And we have an inheritance. We're heirs, mm. basically. Okay. So that's point two. So mm. what just for clarity, what is yeah. point two? Yeah, point two is we are children of God. So mm-hmm. after the after you confessing, receiving yeah. Jesus Christ, and, and, you, and, and you, you become a new become, creation, mm. yeah. So the new creation in you mm. leads you to become to becoming a child of child, God okay. and an heir. All right. Yeah. So like have an inheritance. You, you get adopted. Yes, you are adopted into the, into the family of God. Mm. Yeah. So point three. Yeah. Mm. You are not alone. Mm. Yeah. You have the Holy Spirit mm. in you to okay. comfort to teach and mm. to guide you mm. Mm, and intercede for you and strengthen you. Yeah. That's uh, John 14, um, chapter 14, uh, verse 16 to 17. So generally that um, if you are saying that, okay, I was out in the world, I was yeah. lost, I received Jesus Christ, I was adopted yeah. into this family of Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. And there is this sibling of mine, my mm. big brother yeah. that I found in the family who's going to be taking care yeah. of. Yeah. And that's the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Because so many people are lonely. 
okay. in the world. Mm. They resort to things like um, drinking. Mm. They resort to doing all kinds of uh, behaviors, habits, so that they can feel like they belong. So there is no that big brother. Yeah, they, really yes, help there's not a big yeah. brother to no, like, yeah, yeah, I'm going through a situation. Who can I talk to? Mm. Uh, yeah, I've had a breakup, a very, very nasty breakup. Who can I? talk to so because so many people don't have people to talk to and relate with mm. they will go to the bottle because yeah. the bottle will temporarily mm. like er, er, erase that like that feeling and yeah. like you know it's for a just a fix. moment it's a quick fix mm. for a moment yeah but it never fixes anything anyway true yeah so you 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 take <laughs> your bottle that's very funny yeah <laughs> it never fix anything yeah. yes just doing it for yourself just doing for the sake of it. doing it yeah mm. you're going to take it you get high <laughs> hangover you wake up they say mm. the same thing so it yeah. never fixes anything basically mm. yeah yeah, so basically, so here, like the, God is telling you, look, you don't have to do it alone. Mm. When you go through that miscarriage, you don't have to walk through it alone. Wow. When you lose a loved one, you don't have to go through it alone. Mm. That nasty breakup, you don't have to go through it alone. Mm. When they cheat on you, mm. yeah, um, infidelity, mm. you don't have to go through it alone. You have the Holy Spirit mm. who comforts you, mm. who helps you, who teaches you, and who guides you. Okay. Yeah, so those are privileges. Mm. So, uh, so basically, uh, it, those are some now, now that, that's the access that you get now. yeah yeah the yeah. extra things that are now coming yes, the fact that yes. you're in the family like like the president is child mm. they, 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 they would have like if it's like even a king a king's mm. son, a child yeah they, they have those privileges and access they will have because of their identity mm. yeah in whose they are mm. and who they belong to so because your identity is in god there are things that you're going to walk into okay yeah that you may not necessarily walk the, like into them if you're not if you are now outside, yeah, if you are not outside, mm. yeah, basically, okay, yeah, that, that's point three. Mm. So point four, um, you have God's fullness, mm. yeah, and every spiritual blessing of Christ is in you. John one sixteen. Okay, so, um, you've been adopted in the family. Yeah. You're getting this uh, help and yeah. guidance from your big brother, yeah. the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And then also you get to know the fact that yeah. you are full and you lack nothing. Of God. Mm. Like, and you can just, just think about like you have the fullness of God actually. It's, it's mind blowing. Yes. Actually. Like, I mean, like the creator of the universe and like the, and everything mm. in it, like you have his fullness. Mm. Because remember, like we've been, we've been talking, that brokenness, mm. that emptiness, is what leads oh, you. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. You be lacking something. Yeah, you be lacking you something. Uh, yes. Yeah, like like we said, like nothing really satisfies. Mm. Worldly things they don't satisfy. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's why like money does not satisfy. True. That's why even the richest guys, mm. they are still out there yeah. looking for it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. You're still see? looking for more. Yeah. So it just shows that actually, <laughs> hey, man, like this thing that we straight, like nothing really satisfies. Generally, in the world which we are in, there in the is world, nothing yes. that really can Because the, the world itself is already broken. Oh, yeah. It's already under a curse. Mm. So it like nothing with nothing is going to <laughs> fill you up mm. and make you whole. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So in Christ, mm. he gives you his fullness of like you see. Mm. With me. With me. You lack nothing. You lack nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Like... I, because it's I mean, full package. it's full package. It comes mm. like self-contained. Okay. I will supply all your needs according to riches, in, like in my glory. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you will never lack anything. Mm. Yeah. Uh, uh, like the all, like all his promises are yours. Mm. Yeah. His covenant is with you. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yes. So um, that's that's the fourth point. Yeah. Point yeah. number four. Then point. Four yeah. Nothing. Yeah. You're lacking nothing. You mm -hmm. have his fullness. Then point number five. You have received from our heavenly Father every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ, who is in us. That's Ephesians one three. Okay. I think uh, what people need to understand is mm -hmm. whatever we are talking about yeah. here is a process. Yeah, it's a process. And also, mm -hmm. you need to understand this. The the seed that is being planted when yeah. you renew your mind and receive yeah. Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your yeah. life yeah. is a spiritual seed yeah. that later on needs to be manifested or brought to life or yeah. brought out into what is physically, yeah. what you can physically see yeah. by actually declaring it and yeah. giving it out. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, so whatever we're talking about here mm. is just not an overnight thing is this is not magic it takes time. yeah just like a farmer how he goes and plants a seed mm. that seed doesn't just 
automatically just sprout you into years. Tonight, uh, yes. Oh, you plan then you sit there in the chair like hey, I'm going to like I'm going to watch it until it grows. <laughs> it, my dear, <laughs> hey, you're fighting a loss battle already. Yeah. Again, again, it goes back to the thing of um the quick fixes. This is not yeah. a quick. It's fix. not a quick fix. Yeah. Like it's a journey. Yeah. It's a process. Yeah, okay. even those people that you think that oh my god, probably these guys have figured it out, or like they, you, you see them and you think like that, even them themselves, they're still on a journey. Mm. There are things they're still learning. Yeah, mm. you so you can ne- like learning always like it, it's a process. Not learning never stops. It never stops. Yeah, when you stop learning, you yeah, die. you die basically. Mm. So it's a process, not a quick fix. Yeah. Okay. But we, we are we are trying to tell you that that's the beginning point. Yes. Yeah. And they are better results yes when you use this part oh yes mm. just like the way you'd go to a, a rehab or mm. a counseling uh, place mm. to be counseled mm. they don't cancel you like one day and then, then you, you come out yes, you're very fine you're very fine mm. the, the counseling takes sometimes a year sometimes yeah. months depending yeah mm. you keep on going there you keep on like you know so it shows you that it's a process mm. the heat like, like you you need to respect the process like most of us want to jump <laughs> at like at the yeah. uh, yes at the front mm-hmm. instead of like first respect the process yeah give yourself time to heal mm-hmm. yeah because i mean like like i'm saying we we no identity like it's it's a crisis mm-hmm. yeah and people have been broken okay yeah so so what what we're trying to tell you is that we are trying to give you a healing process yeah. of okay like you know what okay yes every, uh, things have gone bad things have happened but mm-hmm. okay there's there's a light at the okay. end of the tunnel, mm. yeah, and this, this and this is how we're going to go about it. Yeah, so, the journey. Yes, the journey to that light. Yeah, mm. yes. So, um, point five. Uh, that, that's the, the the spiritual blessing, the heavenly yeah, blessing. Yeah, from the yes, our from our heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Yes, privilege mm. and access. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. So your identity now, you're going to be known as a person who's blessed. Okay. Eh, that person is blessed. Mm. Everything that they do, man, it just prospers. The things just seem to work out for them. Mm. Like, hey, man, like, what, like, for you, what's the formula? Your identity mm. in God. Okay. Yes. So point six, um, you have a spirit of power, love, and a well-balanced and disciplined mind. Mm. That's Second Timothy 1.7. All right. God mm. gives the spirit of power, mm. of love, and of a sound mind. Yes. The devil gives a spirit of fear. Generally. That. <laughs> Generally. Mm. So there's a fear of everything. Mm. I fear to be broke. Mm. I fear um he, he, yes. I I I man, what, what will they say? I fear this like there are so many things we fear. Mm. And so because so those things that we fear in the people say, hey man, hey man, let me let me do all this pension, all, all, all those things. Yes, mm. all those, yes, but yes. all that is a fear of like, hey man, now when the day when my job is gone, mm. what will I? So there's a fear of everything. There's a fear like cutting across. Mm. We fear to be cheated on. Mm. We fear to like, you know, to go broke. We fear like so, so many things. And so because, so that fear mm. creates slavery. Yeah. It's actually you're, a bondage. Yeah, you're, yes, you're bound. Yeah, you're bound to to those circumstances. Yeah. Yeah, you, 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 do, you don't move. Yeah. It's like the, the other ones that are defining the path. That yes. That's why so many people are working under the poverty line. Mm. Yeah, you find so many people like they are working under harsh conditions. Mm. Yeah, uh, but they're like, you know what? Eh, yeah, uh, uh, man, I cannot go because this this, this is my thing. <laughs> if I go, well, man, like the, yes, the fear what? of like you know being like, you know what? So, like God, God tells you, you know what? Mm. Like now, because you're, you're, because you're my child, mm. I've I've now taken out that spirit of fear and I've given you a spirit of love and of sound mind. Mm. Yeah, because remember, I've already given you all the spiritual blessings in the heavenly world. Yeah. That means someone in the scripture says he has blessed the works of your hands. Mm. That means whatsoever you lay your hands on prospers. Yeah, it's blessed. Yes, it's mm. blessed. Whatever you touch that becomes gold. Mm. Yeah. Yes. So um. So the, the so that, that's that's point uh, six. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So um. There's point seven. You have the mind, mm. the thoughts, and feelings of Christ in us. Mm. Yeah. That is First Corinthians two sixteen. Because ideally, when you do keep renewing your mind yeah what you're taking in is of christ yeah so your mindset really changes to that yeah i i have this belief that um what you focus on grows yeah 
So if you focus on meditating on the word of God, yeah, then that is what will grow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's why it tells uh, do not conform to the patterns of this world. Mm. But be, but be be, yes, but let let your mind be in you uh, be transformed when so that you like your mind, your, your mind mm. yeah, so that you know what is good and pleasing and pleasant. Oh, yeah. yeah? Mm. So so um so this so this thing like you're trying to like basically like whitewash mm. like whatever like the world has given you, mm. so you're trying to like now you afresh. You raise the yeah, old yes, things. you raise the old thing. Yeah. Mm. So that's point seven. Then point mm. eight, you have the grace, mm. the strength and power of mm. Christ in you. Okay. That's Second Corinthians twelve seven nine. Mm. Yeah. Then point nine. Yeah, you must renew your mind daily, like we've been talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah to align with the word of God. Mm. Yeah, which is also the will of God for our lives. That's Romans twelve two. Mm. Yeah. So, and then uh, the last point is, um, you are to rely on. Trust in and be confident in our relationship with God, His Word, and His promises and His love for us. That's okay. Proverbs three, five, six. Mm. All this thing that we are sharing, we're just just trying to show you that you know what, this is how we fix the root. Okay. Yeah, because the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Mm. Yeah, but the Bible says, ah. "I have come that you may have and enjoy life and have it in its abundance." Mm. Yeah, that's John ten ten. Right. Yeah. So on the cross, Jesus said, "It, it is finished." finished. Mm. Yeah, like I have redeemed everything for you. I have reconciled everything for you. I've given you the life that I intended you to have in the first place. Yes, the devil came in, stole he it, stole it, but I've gotten it. But now I've gotten it you. back for you. Okay. Yes. So that's that's now that's where that's your identity. Like your identity mm. is in Christ. So we encourage you to like find your identity mm. in Christ. Because okay. in Christ your identity can never be stolen. Mm. Yeah? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, um wow very powerful that last part that you ended with yeah. uh talking about the fact that um Jesus came yeah. to get what was stolen yeah and when he was um should I call it taking his last breath on the cross yeah he said it is finished it is finished you get eh? yeah it means that he came and redeemed everything that was stolen yeah uh from us yeah. by the enemy yeah so when you say that it is finished, yeah. he got it back he for got us. It back for us. And in order for us to receive that, yeah. we have to go through him. Yeah. Accept him yeah. because he's a person that redeemed. Yes. Accept the gift yes. that he has given us. Exactly. Okay. Yes. And when we do accept it, yeah. we now unwrap it yes. by leaving out these other truths yes. that you've been talking about. Yes. Wow. Because you remember like, like I said by saying, the first identity theft mm. started from the garden. Yeah. That's where the devil stole it. Mm. And now here, God, Christ is telling us, okay, yeah, he stole it. it I've brought it back. Yeah. And, and this is the new way. Wow. Very, yeah. very powerful. I have learned a lot and yeah. so mind-blowing to the point that I was actually thinking we should break down this yeah. podcast. But um, I am sure we'll actually build more identity because it doesn't stop. Yeah. But uh, before we do end, I would like to give an opportunity to anyone that is listening or yeah. watching uh, to start this relationship. Yeah. Because we have said it is relationship that yeah. comes first. Yeah. There is this guy out there who has a very big mansion. Yeah. And a lot of space yeah. to adopt. Yeah. And it's called God. Yeah. But you need to accept. Yeah. The Son Jesus Christ, yeah. who said it is finished it's on finished. the cross, who got back what was stolen from us. Yeah. So if you're out there and you want to accept Jesus Christ yeah. as Lord and Savior yeah. to receive this gift yeah. that He says He has for you, yeah. I need you to repeat these words after me. Say, Father, Father I thank you. I thank you for today. Thank you for this message that I have received. Yeah. I ask. I ask that you. Transform my mind. You renew my mind. You transform my towards mind. this world. Amen. I receive your son Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior over my life. Yeah. And I choose to walk in the path that he has set out for me. I surrender my life into your hands and I ask that you use it to do something that is significant for me to live a life that is significant. Yes, that you've set me out to, to, to walk and to live. Yes, as a mission on this earth in Jesus' name amen. amen thank you so much for uh, tuning in for listening and for those who are watching for watching um, 
Until next time, do remember to stay positive, step out of your comfort zone, and lead an extraordinary life. Yeah. Thank you so much, Quinton, for availing your services. I've been humbled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. See you in the next episode. See you guys.